step 4 and 5, substitution and solving the equation. When substituting numbers into an equation, you are advised to substitute them in a bracket. This may avoid some confusion caused by the mathematic symbols such as negative and square. Let's look at this example. If we substitute all the values into the equation without bracket, the displacement is equal to 34 over 20, which is not correct. The mistake is owing to the square of the initial velocity. If we repeat the calculation by using bracket, we will find that the displacement is 16 over 20, which is the correct answer because the square of the initial velocity is calculated correctly. Thus, putting the numbers into brackets is important when you are doing substitution. Example 3. A car accelerates from 2 meters per second to 80 meters per second in 10 seconds. How far does it travel in this time? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. Another problem that always confronts the students is how to distinguish the initial and final velocity. Both of them have same unit. How do we know which one is initial and which one is final? Frankly speaking, I don't have a good solution for this problem. The only suggestion that I can give is draw two points on a piece of paper and then ask yourself at what velocity it start and at what velocity it end. In this case, the car started at 2 meters per second and ended at 18 meters per second. Time taken is 10 seconds and we need to find the displacement. This is the information that we have. We can see that acceleration is absent in the list. Therefore, we choose the equation S equals to 1 over 2 U plus VT. Copy the equation. Substitute all the numbers into the equation. Solve the equation. The displacement is 100 meters. 